Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. Thank you all the members, all the patrons. Make sure to subscribe and let's get into it guys. So we have another one of these videos. I done one quite a long time ago actually, like three months ago when the MiG-29, the German MiG-29 actually came to the game. And basically showing my normal strategies on certain aircraft. So if you like this type of video, make sure to let me know in the comments. And you can watch also the MiG-29 one uh, they are already, that I already did, right? But yeah, today we are playing out F-16s. The first match here we are doing with the Block 10s, you know, without BVR. And then we are going to fly with BVR as well in the second game. So let's just start talking, right? Um, so this is pretty much the main core of this way that I fly with these F-16s. Especially with the Block 10s. It is basically flying really low. If you fly high, you will die. That's pretty much the rule that I do. Together with getting people by surprise. And you will know why am I talking about this, especially with the nets. With the A9L uh, in the F-16A normally, or if you use the A9L in the nets as well, it's going to be a little bit more, less problematic that, but you will notice something that happens a lot with the Python 3. Uh, but yeah, as you see, I just maintain a very low altitude to be the main thing, the main source uh, of, you know, problems, uh, you know, just main source of avoiding problems, basically. Because every time you do this, um, you basically become invulnerable to radar missiles, which is also a very good thing on the sense of just making sure that you are not an easy target so if you're not paying attention so it's a very very good strategy uh, a lot of aircraft can do this um, a lot of aircraft i like to fly high but specifically aircraft that they don't basically don't have radar missiles you barely have anything that you can do to actually um you know stay safe you cannot be offensive with it uh, you have to get close to targets get people by surprise and it's a little bit more problematic right so flying low is very good of course Sometimes you will need to fly high to get to targets and stuff. It's not like a, a hard rule that you will just follow no matter what. But it is something to bear that in mind. And the second thing that I was talking about is the ability to actually get people a surprise. And we have a problem with this on the sense of the Python. It is a missile that has troubles with flares. You know, it's a missile much like the R60M uh, have their the, those problems as well. Um, it's missiles that basically have almost no IRCCM or any type of level of, you know, avoidance of flares, right? Uh, like the A9L has, the Magic 2 has a little bit more. And that's due to the size of the FOV, right? Um, all of these missiles, they have the same coding in the core game to actually have the same level of quote-unquote IRCCM. It's not an actual thing right now in these missiles, but still... Uh, the codes that they actually use ignore some certain things uh, and go back to the aircraft trying to actually uh, escape dropping the flares and stuff so they all have the, le the same level quote-unquote of IRCCM but the larger FOV really does help the flare right so our 60s Python 3s they really do uh, like those flares so you have to bear that in mind that you need to get people by surprise this is the most like it's just these two situations that will get you the most kills with the block 10s it's getting people by surprise with the ir missiles uh and also dogfighting that's pretty much it so it's like a brawler you know you gotta get into the fight you gotta like stay close to the other targets it's not going to be like a major difference in the sense of long-range engagements and actually heavily uh, influencing the battle uh, from far away or basically having a 1v1 uh, in a, at a high altitude and being able to just stay alive, this is not going to happen, right? If you're facing a MiG-29 with r 27 rs if you're facing an F-14 with a lot of sparrows, anything like that, eventually you will die. You have a lot less capabilities and you really, really need to be careful with that, okay? So remember, this is a brawler. It needs to get close. It needs to get to a dogfight. It needs to get to um, people from behind normally. You know, dogfights and basically 
especially getting people very surprised. This is a very good uh, example over here, for example, that why flying low is a very good option. If I went just trying to maintain a high altitude with the FR-14, I would have just died. You know, I would need to just go cold or notch and be on a defensive. And if I maintain a low altitude, I can actually maintain a uh, offensive position with the block 10. So remember these two things, okay? Fly low with the block 10 or the nets and get people by surprise, dogfight with them, best strategy possible. You know, be aware of your surroundings and get people that are normally attacking other friendlies. It's always a good thing to do that. You know, it always helps the team, everybody stays alive. You know how it is, right? And then uh, after I killed this F-14, we go for a more, a different approach to the F-16, okay? This is where I normally fly with the Block 20, the Block 15s ADFs, the milieu right in the Block 15s, and even the AJ. So yes, I try to do BVR with this aircraft and they can do BVR, it's not impossible. Uh, you have to bear in mind that, bear in mind that uh, compared to other aircraft, you are normally at least, I mean, you're on the same level max or you're normally lowered in the sense of BVR capabilities. So normally an F-14B, a MiG-29 will be better than you. A Mirage will be basically the same, although he does have a better radar than you. Uh, so I don't know, it depends on the situation, right? Uh, but you're normally on the back foot. So always remember that these but you can do maneuvers to actually stay alive it's not impossible to beat or at least make sure that these enemies are on the defensive so at least as you see over here i'm killing an f-14b because he was flying low he was not paying attention for me that i'm flying high and i could just fire a missile and he didn't even see of course i always use the cranking maneuver it's what i do here i fire the missile and turn uh, left uh, 45 degrees i have a whole subject of videos that I did uh, covering how I fly BVR, how it's the best options to do BVR and stuff. But as you see, flying high with an aircraft that has some form of radar missile, you can have a lot more, um, you know, I mean, I missed that, but it was so close. And you can uh, basically can have a lot more confidence flying high and getting people from above, which is also uh, the best strategy, in my opinion, for any aircraft. It's just that an aircraft such as the Nets will not have this ability. But after you lose the missiles, uh, after you actually get your um, sparrows out and you kill or you miss or anything like that, it kind of becomes, becomes the same thing as the normal, uh, you know, the normal F-16s that I told you guys. It's a brawler again, you know, we will dogfight very well. Yes, the Block 15, Block 20s, they turn a little bit worse than the Block 10, but still it is one of the best dogfighters out there, right? Uh, you have to still be careful with MiG-29s and F-14s depending on the pilot and stuff but normal or even the barrages but normally um, you will be able to be defeat most of the enemies if you are um, you know smart enough about it and as you saw right there for example this is where the F-16 actually shines it's dogfighting as I said and also that type of kill that I got with the F-4 people are they're just not paying attention you are fast enough uh, that you will get a lot of kills that are just third generations or aircraft that are trying to just kill other people so be aware of your sur surroundings again you know fly low when you don't have the sparrow missiles uh, and um, I mean to be honest only fly high at the beginning of the match uh, after that there isn't much of a reason to actually do this uh, because as I said Flying low makes you be able, it's not about being invulnerable to missiles. You can be invulnerable to radar missiles flying high as well. The thing is that for that, you really need to be careful if you're flying and really go defensive a lot of the times. And when you're flying low, you can keep doing the offensive maneuver while you are defending from the enemy, from the enemy missile, right? So it's a win-win situation in that regard of strategy, right? Uh, of course, A9 still, they're weak against, I mean, any missile is basically weak against flares uh, in most situations, but this is the situation where a, uh, an F-16 will, you know, prevail, right? It's, you know, against a lot of aircraft, turning fights, everything like that, it can do with that. I mean, I had bad luck there, I made one crash looking at me, and I had another F-16 and it damaged me, but anyway, uh, this is 
the like normal strategy that I would use. Okay, so this is it, guys. This is how I fly. The nets always flying low, getting people by surprise, using your best muscles to get people that are not aware of you. You know, dog fighting, gun kills. This is where it's like a use the F6, F16 Block 10 as a glorified F5, you know, flying low and getting, getting people in the dogfight and by surprise. And then imagine if the F5 had two sparrows. This is what the Block 15s and 20s would look like, right? So it's a flying high at the beginning of the batch, trying to get some kills with that. It's always nice to get one or two kills in the BVR because you already take a couple of targets from killing your friendlies. And then do the same as before, fly low as an F5. Imagine that you are flying an F5, and so, but faster and better turning and just having more energy, right? So this would be the normal tactics that I use. It's normally successful, very fun aircraft to fly, very standard, you know, you can just have a lot of kills with it, a lot of, a lot of fun with it. And it's probably my second or third favorite aircraft in the game right now, fun-wise, you know, it's really, really fun if you use it correctly. It does have its, its, its limitations, but it's still very fun. But anyway, let me know in the comments how do you play with Dev16. And I see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. See you.